set up for uh, taking my little concept sketch and turning it into a pastel painting. This is some paper that uh, I did not use to like Canson paper for pastel paintings, but I've come to like this new Canson paper. <clears throat> Typically, uh, in the past, uh, Canson Mi Tientes, I think I'm saying that right, paper was uh, one that was suggested for pastel painting, but it didn't have enough grit or tooth to it. Um, and uh, I found I couldn't get many layers on it. But this new um, Canson Touch, Mi Tientes Touch paper, has more of a sanded surface. So it's, uh, it's able to hold more of the pastel on there. And I really like this. And this particular pad comes with uh, various colors in here. I've used a lot of it. I only had a brown and a black left. So uh, I'm going to be using this. And because it's a darker paper, um, to do my sketch for these little pretty little birdies. I love them. Um, I'm going to use um, a pastel pencil. This is the set here, Geoconda. Uh, I've had this set for years. It's just a, a good soft pastel pencil set. It's good for sketching in pastel, um, sometimes for fine detail. Um, so I'm going to begin my sketch on this. And I also wanted to point out, I have um, what I always do with my pastel paintings is put down this little aluminum foil um, kind of make-do um, uh, tray that catches the, the loose pastels that fall as I'm painting. So it doesn't get all over your, your desk, you know, or your art table. Um, so I've got a, actually this is just a set of pastels that I had for my last painting. So I may uh, um, change some of those and, and get them a little more organized with the color palette that I want to use for these birds. I already have something in mind, uh, but first let's get to this sketch. And uh, again, getting a good composition is key to any good painting. So here we go. Stop working on the background right now because 
there's a couple of things that can happen. One, I can overwork it. <laughs> I'm already getting that way a little bit now. But um, if you apply too many layers of pastels, you actually lose some of the boldness and the and the freshness of the color. And uh, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to leave it alone for now. Uh, plus, I want the background to look subdued and in the distance. And so you don't need a lot of detail. So uh, the third thing is that I don't want to work too much with this color palette without getting the birds in to see where my lights and darks should be and everything. It's just a good idea to uh, go ahead and, and get your basic values down before getting too detailed in anything. So that's my goal now. I'm going to start working on these little cute birdies and uh, hopefully it will um, be harmonious with the color palette I'm already working with. All right, time to get going.